Hi guys. Um, so welcome to the next video um, where we're going to be discussing the next concept, one of the key concepts in agroforestry, which is stratification. What is that? We have already talked a little bit about it in other videos. Um, basically, stratification is how trees occupy layers in a forest. Got that? Um, so it's basically the floors. As you have the floors in a building, you've got the floors in the forest. Really, we, we make maximum use of the space. And, and really, we're replicating what already happens in, in, in nature, though. going back to that theory where you know, the laws are already written. You know, if you observe the forest, there are stratifications. So we take that into consideration to maximize you know, the whole situation of just bringing the green exactly um, so in agroforestry what we have to do is basically understand um, where each species because it, it's related to a species okay so the, uh, the orange occupies a specific layer a mango tree occupy a specific layer and by understanding that we're able to create consortiums where one tree doesn't bother the other because because they are occupying different spaces it's basically how trees distribute themselves along uh, the, the uh, a vertical um, vector okay of you space know, there are rules to follow you really need to understand that species uh, you'll do this by observing what it's like in, in nature you know a natural one because you know if you get it wrong certain species are not going to want to be underneath others you know they're going to say goodbye they're going to say this is not the place for me and you wander and you you know and you bring things from external and you're like no you got to live motherfucker <laughs> but really you need to uh respect that maybe it's going because it's not it's not the right place for for, for him in it exactly and it, it's important to understand that um the, m many people get this wrong in the beginning so let's make it very very clear for you and make sure to then to go back to the beginning of, the, of what I just said and start again it's not about the height of a plant so you have emergent trees which are at the top of, of the level which are the, the tallest ones you know the ones that come out in that forest really then pop out and you have one every couple of you know one per acre in, in that larger forest those emergent trees in, in certain areas, in certain biomes, in this natural habitat, that could be a 10 meter high tree. In another habitat, in another bioma, it could be uh, 60, 70, 80, 100 meters high. So it's not about the height, it's about in its natural habitat, exactly where it is in relation to the floor. Can it support someone on top of it? Or, can it, or, or is it meant to be underneath someone else? You know, and because uh, here we have a very, very short here in Brasilia, uh, in the Cerrado, we have very short species. You know, we, we find that the tallest, you know, uh, if, if, if I, certainly in the valley here, I won't find a tree that's taller than 20 meters high. So that's really the, the, the emergent the maximum. The, that's yeah. the maximum here. But it, it doesn't mean if I go somewhere else and I got a larger avocado and, and you know, that that's necessarily got to be on top of that because that one species there, it does not support anything on top of it. Yeah. It evolved throughout millions of years to occupy that space. So when applying it to agroforestry, we really have to understand where each species come from and how it adapted to that place. And what that does for us, and now we, we're going to bring back that idea of optimizing resources that we mentioned in earlier videos. Um, Stratificating a forest, manage, what we accomplish by that is to optimize the amount of sunlight absorbed by the vegetation because we make a filter, okay? Because the occupation are different between the layers. And let's, let's get, go a bit into that so that you get a really good picture of it. Mm -hmm. um, so we have basically four layers, right? We've got emergent, which are those that really put its head out, uh, you know, the crown out from the, the, f the canopy of the forest. Then we've got the high layer, which is the canopy. Then we've got the medium layer and we've got the low layer, which is the, the understory, okay? 
um, and we've got a gradually um, decrease in the amount of space occupied, right? Uh, explain to us a bit of, uh, of that, how, how it's, it's gradually decreasing, how much space yeah, is sure. occupied. So obviously the ones that are at the, at the very top, the emergent, they can't sh shadow everyone because then there's going to be zero light at the, at the bottom. So we're really working with, the, with that top tree, that top canopy. You should uh, occupy about 20% of the space, we like to think, 15, 20%. And that will allow, you know, 80, 85% of light to come in to the high level, which will uh, occupy 35% of, of that space, which will then in turn allow 50% of light uh, roughly to the medium level which would then allow 20% of light through, you know, it will occupy uh, 80%, you know, the medium level, and then it will, it will leave that 20% of light for the coffee underneath. So, so as we, get, we go down, we have a, a less dense. Exactly. And uh, it's important to understand that we're giving this, these figures, but these are not static. They change because in many places, trees lose leaves. Like we mentioned earlier, when we're talking about the coffee system. So by pruning, we're gonna, go, we're gonna have these percentages going back and forth, back and forth. And that's what creates stimulus for flowering, stimulus for producing high quality fruit and all that. Um, so that's basically the idea of, of how to bring that and how to have more than one, more than two crops in the same space, in the same area, okay? It's through stratification. Um, want to add anything else? I think we covered it all. Yeah, I think we're ready to go. Uh, let's talk about it. It's very important, you know, we, we don't flush you with, with all advanced features because there's so much to take in. I mean, it's like a, it's like a steak, you know. You can have a, a rare, medium, or well done. But you can have it blue, you can have, you can have it rare, you can have it medium rare, and, and then medium, and then medium well, and well, and then well done, and then burnt. So it's the same thing with the stratification. We're saying there's four levels. If you really want to get technical, there's like, there's like medium high, levels. there's 13, there's 13 levels. levels. But you know, we, we break it down into four main ones. Yeah, exactly. These are the most uh, common ones. And you notice that we brought again the idea of pruning because pruning is one of the basic techniques also because to keep that stratification in its proper place, to keep each species in its proper place, we have to be pruning constantly because mm -hmm. we also want to make every fruit reachable. We, 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 it's really hard and oh, yeah. costly <laughs> to have huge avocado trees. So we really have to keep them down so we can harvest. But the avocado is a medium to high layer tree. So we have to keep it down, but not down enough that we can't have the coffee underneath. So it's really you a know, matter of, of pruning and keeping everyone its proper place so that, you know, the, the, the canopy of the avocado that doesn't really occupy the space of the coffee yeah, tree. We want to have each one hold them down. I mean, there's exactly. nothing worse than, you know, reaching up 40 meters to, to, to harvest this avocado. Exactly. It's break naked, you know. So we do this, but it, we'd much rather harvest it at 15 really. meters, 10 meters max. So we really have to put everyone in its proper place to make everything work well and to maximize the amount of sunlight yeah, the that the vegetation captures and the amount of photosynthesis that the system is doing and consequently the amount of carbohydrates it's producing and that's food for us, for the microorganisms, for everybody. It's life. With the pruning we can really uh, control this, uh, especially in the early stages with the eucalyptus. We like to plant eucalyptus really dense, you know, every meter, every two meters, meter and a half roughly, because it really gives us all that material. But uh, if I have uh, every meter and a half an emergent tree, you know, it's, it's really going to occupy a lot of the like, canopies. Mm. It's really going to shade everything. So we can have this many dense uh, emergent tree here because we are pruning it with a lot of intensity. And, you know, the eucalyptus, uh, I might have it dense for now, but in 10 years from now, uh, I'll probably be bringing that down and bringing that number way down and having it every nine meters or every 15 meters once I've... I've if I decide to have him as one of the emergents of the of, of the future. Exactly. So, all right, guys, um, thank you for watching once again. Uh, we hope it w we were clear in our ideas. Um, remember, write down your questions, your doubts. If there is anything that we forgot to mention, bring it up to the webinar. 
will be glad to answer all your questions and all your comments. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you later. From now, Agua Forestry Crew, sign out. All right.